Good day, everyone. Thank you, Apostolos and Safety for C-Team uh, for, for the invitation to speak at uh, the 15th Safety for C Athens Forum. It's an honor for me to be here among such distinguished guests and uh, esteemed colleagues in the maritime industry. Uh, I think, uh, Apostolos, this is uh, the, my 15th uh, Safety for Sea Forum that I have attended. And uh, I was here when Captain Nikitas uh, was uh, a speaker in uh, the first uh, Safety for Sea Forum, but unfortunately, I can't remember your topic. Sorry for that. <laughs> so, uh, more or less, uh, I'm going to discuss for the same topic like uh, the previous presentation. And uh, my, uh, the objectives so the objectives of this presentation has to do with the foundation of uh, uh, safety culture. Uh, I'm going to discuss about the leadership role, the innovative strategies, practical insights, and the importance of uh, safety culture in the maritime industry. And, uh, why is uh, safety culture so important for us? So, uh, let's discuss about now the understanding the safety culture. Uh, what is the definition of uh, the safety culture? The previous uh, speaker said uh, correctly that is the way we do uh, business. Actually, safety culture is uh, more than uh, just a set of rules. It's the collective uh, commitment uh, that uh, how we operate and how we make uh, to safety within our organization. It's, uh, it's reflected uh, uh, in our values, attitudes, and daily practices. We embrace the safety not because someone tells us that we have to do that. We embrace the safety because it is our belief. I don't wear my safety belt before I switch on my engine in the car because I'm afraid to, to have a ticket uh, during, uh, from the traffic control, uh, po from the traffic police uh, during a control. I, I, I wear my safety belt because I truly believe in that. And why is a strong safety culture so crucial? Is uh, first and foremost is about risk mitigation. A strong safety culture uh, reduces the probabilities to have a serious incidents, act, accidents, and protecting both our crews and our assets. It also ensures regulatory comp uh, compliance, helping uh, our organization uh, to avoid penalties and reputational damages, but above all, enhance the crew morale. It fosters a secure environment, leading to higher crew satisfaction, and retention, which is a vital aspect of maintaining a dedicated and motivated team. We often listen to the crew departments that they strive and it's very hard for them to find uh, crews and good crews. So if you have a safety environment and you work in a very safe manner, your company is more attractive to others. And what is the impact now also on the operational efficiency uh, and the crew welfare? Uh, the benefits of a strong culture extends to operational efficiency uh, because uh, it enhances uh, uh, fewer, uh, fewer accidents, which means lows, uh, less downtime and more reliable operations. Crew welfare, we, do, we improve the physical, we, by prioritizing uh, crew welfare, we improve the physical and mental well-being uh, of our team, which is also uh, a core element on uh, how to, uh, let's say, uh, benefit and uh, have an overall success within our organization. But let's discuss uh, what is the leadership and what is the management? Uh, when we talk about safety culture, it's uh, important to understand the difference between leadership and management. Leadership is about inspiring and guiding others toward common goal, particularly in fostering a strong, a strong safety culture. Uh, a, safe, a, a leader is the one who set the visions, the vision, the safety vision of the company. We had an accident, a fatal accident, many, many years ago, and we received the instruction from the top management that 
you know, we do not wish to have such incident again. So he set the vision to have a zero uh, accident environment in, in, in the company. And we, as a man, the manager, we are uh, responsible to set the policies and the procedures toward the vision of the leader. So management focus on executing processes and maintain order through established safety protocols and procedures. And what are the traits of effective safety leaders? Uh, many things said before. I would say that is a, the leader is visionary, support communication, empathy, and accountability. All this set of uh, uh, traits, we call them emotional intelligence. So the leaders have a strong emotional intelligence. Let's discuss now a few cases uh, in practice to understand uh, what is the innovative safety leadership and the leadership which transforming the safety culture. I will share you an example. The, there was one of the largest shipping companies where, and they faced significant challenges with, the, with safety incidents that affected both their operation and crew morale. With few words, the crew didn't want to join this company. In response, the leadership launched a global safety campaign called Safety Differently. And this initiative focused on building proactive uh, safety culture rather, rather than just reacting to incidents. And the leaders were engaged and the managers, all the organization was engaged with the crew members regularly discussing safety concerns. They opened a communication and gathering ideas from the improvement. And the outcome was that over the two, the, the, over two years period, they measured that uh, this approach leads to 20% reduction in safety incidents. Crew members felt more valued and heard, resulting in boosted morale and productivity. Of course, they have also uh, reduced costs. Another case was uh, uh, coming from a major oil company that sought to tackle the issue of crew fatigue. They had a major, uh, uh, which is a major risk factor in the maritime operations. The leadership team introduced uh, uh, wearable technology to monitor crew fatigue. And uh, over the time, uh, they, they managed uh, with this proactive approach uh, to have a, a noticeable decline in fatigue-related incidents. This example highlights the importance of uh, both leading and leading indicators, but leadership has to do mainly with, uh, with leading indicators. Now, uh, what are the management initi initiatives for the safety culture enhancement? By implementing safety uh, policies, uh, is uh, the first thing to have is to have an effective and uh, effective communication and accessibility, uh, which are the keys. It's crucial these policies are communicated clear to every crew member and are easily accessible. So with few words, these policies and uh, safety policies do not concern only the office staff. So uh, safety training and development programs. Uh, we need to focus on ongoing training, regular safety trainings, and uh, beyond the basic training, we must emphasize in skill developments and uh, continuous monitoring and improvement uh, it, uh, with regular audits and inspections. We do not have to afo afraid, you know, any inspections or vetting regimes, especially for the bulk sector I'm talking, which is something new. And, uh, uh, establish feedbacks and uh, feedback loops, mechanisms that allow the crew to discuss with you and uh, adapt and update the, uh, your safety policies. Okay, and uh, then engage your crew. Collaborate, establish a collaborative approach. Safe, establish safety committee committees that uh, include representatives also from the office. Uh, try to, to do safety meetings now with, with, the technology, with so much technology we have, we are able to carry out safety meetings live with our crews. You know, hold regular safety discussions about any issues. Call them daily and ask them. You know, in, uh, then in, uh, use, you know, in, uh, incentive and recognition programs. We have a, a safe man of the month 
program. You know, it's, import it's very important to implement programs that reward your crew. So by adhering to safety protocols, you know, and use recognition as a tool to reinforce the importance of safety. Everyone wants to be rewarded and everyone wants to be motivated. Uh, so, partnerships. We will never succeed uh, to uh, enhance safety unless we make the crew understand that they are part of this. So, next I'm going to show you two tables about, you know, uh, the safety enhancements and the crew cost reduction. This is the one. As, as you can see, uh, this table represents the reduction in crew costs attributed to safety enhancements. The more safety enhancements we implement, the less uh, crew costs uh, we have. And this is the comparison of crew costs between company A and company uh, B, where we see that, you know, the, the one, the company that uh, uh, pay attention on the safety and, and then safety enhancement has a, a significantly reduced uh, uh, the cost, the cost, the operational cost. So we can do everything alone. So take advantage from uh, service providers and uh, uh, re hold regular safety audits and inspection on, on board uh, on, of your, on your vessel, uh, implement advanced safety management systems and predictive analytic platforms, and customize your safety training programs. Instead of having a training matrix, a generic training matrix, find out where you have a problem, focus on this problem, and make training specific for this, uh, for the problem you're facing. And now the hot issue has to do with enhancing the crew's safety and health with the, the use of artificial intelligence. You know, there are now, with the use of wearables, a lot of AI-driven health monitoring systems that can show you clearly where to focus. Use, uh, especially for the fatigue and the stress management, use, uh, with the use of the artificial intelligence, you may have predictive safety analytics and personalized safety recommendation. But always remember that, especially now with the artificial intelligence, we have to uh, build a, a, a good and strong business, business ethic code on how we use uh, the, uh, the artificial intelligence in the day-to-day -day operations. So, with the use of uh, artificial intelligence, we now have also, uh, as we move forward to the autonomous navigation, before that, we have, you know, uh, systems using artificial intelligence that will help us uh, uh, in collision avoidance. Yes, we help, thank you. Thank you for pointing out with, uh, uh, to, to use them for the collision avoidance and we have real-time uh, real monitoring on the safe navigation where close quarter situation and near misses are directly reported and an alarm trigger in the office to see what's going on on board. Also, with the use of AI and the use of uh, uh, various sensors. We have the Internet of Things and predictive maintenance and equipment. We may uh, have, you know, uh, uh, we can see whether, you know, uh, we may suffer a major main engine breakdown, for instance. So, by enhance, you, you have to enhance also the safety reporting mechanism with the use of real-time incident reporting teams, anonymous reporting channels, have a speak-out channel, where the crew feels safe to report when something goes wrong. And with this way, you, you, you're going to gap the bridge on how you think the things are on board and how the things actually are on board. So, regular continuous improvement and feedback. You need regular feedback sessions, updating your safety procedures, and if possible, invest in research and development for safety innovations. So. Uh, to recap, uh, we discuss about the importance of safety culture, the, low, the role of leadership, innovative strategies such as artificial intelligence, uh, the AI and how it can be used in, to drive in the safety enhancement, the continuous improvement that we have to 
we, we must be continuously and continuously improved in our system and our CMS and continuously up to date. We have to engage the crew, make them team, listen to them. Before you uh, send a policy, discuss this policy with your master and chief engineer, and you're going to have a feedback that will certainly assist you to adjust the policy and uh, be exactly the one the, to have the results that you wish to have and uh, embrace the change and the revolution. Artificial intelligence is here to stay. Uh, you can stop the revolution, and everyone knows that, but adapt uh, this revolution to your needs, building always ethical, a strong ethical business code. Thank you very much.